Like a bell cut. <laughs> Buenas, 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 saludos, otro video más de este su canal, la casa de los juegos indies En esta ocasión les traigo un juego para adultos, o sea, si no eres un adulto, pues discreción, o sea, este contenido es un poco fuerte eh, Es la segunda parte del juego de Leisure Larry, es la primera parte de Wet Dreams Don't Try Y la segunda parte, que es esta que estamos jugando, se llama Wet Dreams Dry Twice es un juego bien jocoso, eh, yo me disfruté de la primera historia, la primera parte eh, Lamentablemente pues no, no tiene para poner el audio en español Pero sí lo que vendría siendo los subtítulos se puede poner en español so, Durante este video todos los subtítulos van a estar en español Y toda la información que salga a la parte de abajo va a salir en español Anyway, este tipo se levanta eh, en el juego anterior o sea, el principio del video vamos a ver como un, una narración de lo que vendría, de lo que pasó en el juego anterior para las personas que empiezan a jugar este juego y no tienen conciencia de lo que pasó anteriormente. Eh, esta persona es un tipo de los 80 y de alguna forma él se levanta en, en lo que viene haciendo el futuro. So, todo, toda la tecnología que existe, todas las cosas nuevas que hay, él no las la conoce. Está bien este bien ajeno a lo que está pasando pero además de eso la personalidad de este perso de esta persona es, está súper jocosa es a otro nivel la, la que vendría siendo bien gracioso eh, o sea un montón en este juego puedes encontrar un montón de doble sentido eh, fotos cosas de insinuaciones sexuales o sea, este, apto, este juego no es apto para niños. No. Después de haber dicho eso, si te interesa, este juego es de comedia, o sea, comedia fuerte, habla sobre temas sexuales. Y es bien entretenido si te gusta ese tipo de comedia. So, aquí te dejo el video. Eh, déjame saber qué piensas en los comentarios. Bye. Finally. The time has come again. He has awakened. Everyone thought he was gone. Forgotten. And many said... El Rey? Who are you talking about? Uh... Not that important. Don't let me disturb you. I'm not even here. Just don't pay any attention to me. Mm. Now you got me all confused. I know what happened. So what now? Are you sure you know enough to dive into this adventure? Ah. Uh. Maybe I could use a little more information after all. <laughs> Tell them who I am. Ah, El Lari, the prophesied one, before whom the very alpacas themselves bowed, who saved us from the gringos. I, I thought you were going to sing about how good I look and how successful I am with the ladies. Fine, fine. Before you became El Lari, you were Lari Laffer. Actually, I still am. The man who back in the wild 80s decided to be a virgin no more. Best decision I ever made. The man from whom no woman is safe. You got that right. Uh, hang on. I don't think you're supposed to say that anymore. But it's true, of course, ladies. <laughs> Tell them where we are. This is without a doubt the most beautiful place on earth. Wonderful can come. Nowhere is the sun warmer and the bananas more curved. Long did can come suffer under the gringo's yoke. But you, Elari, you set us free. You blew up the gringo's villa. Well, strictly speaking, that was more of an accident. We are free. 
and a golden future lies before us. Tell them how I got here. That, Elari, is a long story. I have time. Very well. You fell out of time. That's not very nice. No one knows how you got from the 1980s to our time. Oh, <laughs> that's what you meant. You woke up in a strange laboratory, and at first didn't know you were in the 21st century. But you quickly learned how this modern world works. After all, he had the best teacher. Elefto, you are Larry's anchor to a world long lost. Would anyone like to try my new recipe for craft beer? No. At any rate, Elari, you have not only mastered the pitfalls of the 21st century... Well, mastered would mean that he knew what he was doing, and I don't think it would be fair to say that. I think he's doing all right. Silencio. Lari looked for love in all the wrong places. Elari has fallen deeply in love with Faith. The secret boss of the technology company, Prune. She told him to get 90 points on the Timber dating app. Only then would she go out with him. How do you know all that? You weren't even there. Silencio! As always, that went caca. And then, Larry wanted to hack the Prune server to improve his Timber score. That was self-defense. In the process, he disturbed a product presentation. And Prune was brought to the brink of bankruptcy. Yeah, well, oops. Faith had to flee with BJ in tow, the man she had installed as CEO of Prune, but who was merely her puppet. Larry snuck onto their ship and secretly sailed with them to their villa here in beautiful Cancun. Not one word about what happened on that ship. Oh, I thought it was very romantic. Ah, really? I'll admit, now I'm curious. Are you nuts, Lefty? Never mind, forget I asked. Larry, I was politely going to avoid mentioning... Good thing. ...that you cobbled up the most repulsive sex doll of all time, and that you... We can just imagine the rest. Unfortunately. Finally, Faith revealed her plan, and that BJ was just a puppet. Then... You blew up the villa, driving off the gringos, and saving can come. It's a pretty crazy story. Tell them about the terrible fate Faith suffered. Ah, beautiful Faith. You were blindly in love with her, and moved heaven and hell to win her love. Well, strictly speaking, she was the one who was chasing me. You followed her here to her villa. Then, you blew up the villa. That was only because of the totally messed up user interface. What did you expect when you press a big red button? Anyway, the moment came where you saved her life, and she, for the first time, felt something approaching affection for you. But then, she was hit by a chunk of rubble. No, by the puck. What? That wasn't a piece of rubble from the villa. That was the puck. What do you mean, puck? I greased the high strike on the pier and you lost wages with some lube. And put the puck into orbit when I hit it. And then, all that time later, it fell back to Earth and hit Faith at that exact moment? Exactly. Nobody understood that. Okay, let's just forget about that bit. At any rate, the puck knocked her out, she fell in the boat, and the wind swept her away. And so she disappeared from my life. I'm sure she's dead. Poor Faith. All I have left of her are memories. Do you know a song about alpacas? Oh, but of course! Oh, alpaca, alpaca. Everyone calls you llama. Master of haulage, tasty as sausage. To wrestle, you'd kill your yummy when grilled. Why am I all of a sudden hungry? Could you maybe sing a song about pie? If you do that, I'll delete myself. But I'd like to acknowledge that you were always there for me. 
You do realize that's what I was programmed to do, don't you? Yeah, but we've been through so much together. We sure have, Larry. Whatever happened to BJ? He wanted to float lefties on the stock exchange, market it as a franchise, and expand internationally. Sounds like a plan. Then Lefty beat him with a paddle and he took off. Oh. I know what happened. So what now? Are you sure you know enough to dive into this adventure? Yes. Now we can get this show on the road. Very well, Elan. Yet, there is still one last step remaining to fulfill the prophecy heralding a golden age on Cancom. You must marry the daughter of the most important man on the island. My daughter. I sincerely hope you haven't forgotten, considering we're in the middle of preparations. And, uh, <clears throat> how about a, uh, uh prenup? You will love and honor her until death do you part, and you won't demand any recourse. That's it? Yes. Then I'll go get ready for a wedding. Yes. Go now, Elari. Marry the most beautiful woman on the island. My daughter. Uh, how many women are there on the island, anyway? Two. The other one is my mother. Maybe, uh... Fulfill the prophecy and your destiny. Let me leave you with this song. Oh, Elari, Elari, they call you. Ay, caramba, my guitar. We have to fix it, Elari. Otherwise, I won't be able to sing any songs at your wedding. I'll take care of it. And don't forget that you have to take care of the catering and wear your wedding suit. Hi. What can I do for you, Larry? There must be some kind of app for wedding preparations. Absolutely. But I'm still busy unzipping that huge file, which means I can't install any new apps right now. <laughs> I know what unzipping huge things can be like. Oh, just zip it, Larry. That file somebody sent us a few weeks ago, remember? I'll have to decrypt it, but it'll take time. Okay, then let me know when it's done. Larry, I think you're a little confused. Isn't that normal when you're about to commit yourself to something forever? Yes, it is. But let me remind you again... I think it's time for you to concentrate on your wedding. Lefty, my oldest friend. Lefto. Uh, right. Elari, the best and only son-in-law I ever had. A lot of the preparations for the wedding have already been made. How do you feel about that, Larry? Are you really ready to make port in the harbor of holy matrimony? If the prophecy demands it. That's a good enough reason for you? Uh, let's just not talk about it. 
Would you rather talk about how you blew up the villa? All right, all right. I'll never push a big red button again. Where's the ladder leading down to my room again? What's wrong, Larry? I was just thinking about Faith again. Don't blame yourself. I do, though. That's Faith's underwear, which was strewn all over the island in the explosion. I collected all of them. So, uh, can I give them back to Faith as soon as possible? If she's still alive, I should at least light a candle for her. Actually, everything I need should be here in this room. I'm taking these. It might get dark. There it is. First of all, I have to light it. Fire. Man's best friend. And harmless in the right hands.
There it is. First of all, I have to light it. Good idea, but that won't work. Well, it's burning. Now I have to put it on top of the altar. you are here okay time to get going I still have a lot to prepare for the wedding wait what I still have to check your progress in the sensitivity class today does it have to be now you said yourself that you wanted to know more about how to properly interact with other people in the 21st century I've already learned a lot but not enough okay fine so how many genders are there? Enough for everyone. I've almost had enough myself. So how many are there then? The correct answer is gender is diverse. Okay, if you're too lazy to count. Oh. Next question. Your best friend confides that he is suffering from depression. What do you advise him to do? Drink a good whiskey. I'm gonna need one of those myself soon. And that's what you would do yourself? No, of course not. That's reassuring. First, I get myself a whiskey. Then find a woman. Enough already. Why do I even ask? The last question. For now, a colleague at work makes a sexist joke during lunch. How do you react? Exactly what joke? A woman goes to the... Ugh, I mean, it doesn't matter. I've had enough. Did I pass? Let me put it this way. The 21st century isn't done with you yet. Things used to be easier. Things didn't used to be easier. You were just more naive. But at least back then you could say what you thought. And just what do you think you've been doing here the whole time? Are you done unzipping that file yet? I need a wedding app. The encryption is proving hard to crack. It seems to contain some important data some kind of secret. You haven't really been working properly ever since Faith stopped being the boss at Prune either. That's not true. I wonder what's happened at the company since then. Your Nari. Yes. <laughs> you know who I am, baby. Yes, M Mr. Wang. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh oh, we don't have any time for pleasantries. This Nari is not the prune that used to be. The Bill Jobs and Faith prune. This, this is my prune now. Uh, yes. You're still working on the Kuga update for our Pi phones. I want you to release it immediately because I have other work for you. But... No buts. We have a bigger, more important project ahead of us. Miss Fate was working on a revolutionary software project, a self-learning algorithm. I need it for a product that will truly immortalize Prune. One that will make even Pi phones obsolete. She hinted that she'd crack the algorithm, but I never saw it. I'm under pressure, Nari. Understand? Well... That algorithm is sexy. We have to get it. Get it, sweet cheeks. I'll just get back to work. As of right now, you are the technical director here at Prude. If we can't find Faith's algorithm, our technicians will have to develop one themselves. Like yesterday. You have a free hand and unlimited resources. Do whatever you want with me. Uh, thanks? Nari. Yes? I can't find the switch for the secret back room. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. There has to be something like that somewhere around here. A room with a heart-shaped bed that spins. Uh, 
with a back entrance for anyone I invite. I'll, um, I'll check up on that directly with the uh, property manager, and I'll get the cougar update rolled out. <sighs> In my old office, all I had to do was press a button under my desk, and poof, there it was. That was nice. By the time I'm done with Prune, I'll have that here, too. By the way, Larry... Yeah? If you want to remember certain things that you can't take with you, you can take photos of them instead. <laughs> Very funny. Do I look like I have a camera on me? I have a camera. You? What do you think that hole on the back is for? Well... Forget I asked. So you can photograph everything? Yes. And then show it to you as if you were carrying it with you. Hmm. How practical. You could have told me that earlier. Oh. I could use it to take a picture of something pretty specific. <laughs> but you need a wide-angle lens for something that size. I have... Um, yes, Larry, I have to say, it's too bad I don't have one of those. Phew. Oh, I'm sure it'll work anyway. Larry, no! Done now? Yeah, thanks for asking. But you might just want to take pictures of things that might be useful later. My head's starting to spin, Pine. Isn't there some way I can keep better track of everything I have to do? I'm glad you asked. I installed a to-do app for you. Can't I have that timber thing again? We decided to uninstall that app as part of your sensitivity training. For your own good. That was a stupid idea. Anyway, the app lists everything you still need to do for the wedding. And you'll be there to check off everything that's done? Of course. Whenever you finish any of your outstanding tasks, I'll show you. This suit is freshly starched. If I pull it out through the bars, it'll be ruined. I can wiggle my finger in there as much as I want, but neither my finger nor the lock will get anything out of it. No, if I sit on that, I'll get stuck. And I really don't want to touch the toilet paper today. No, I'm not taking that. I said no. I admire your willpower, Larry. I think I'm sensitive enough at the moment. I can't open it. The padlock is kind of in the way. What? Is that a self-destruct mechanism that works twice? Whew, that was lucky. I'm never touching that again, especially not from behind.
I always say, lube. Don't leave home without it. I can't open it like that. I can wiggle my finger in there as much as I want. Now the self-destruct button just self-destructed. Nah, the Can't Come News Network is showing nothing but crap today. I really hope Faith is doing okay. Lottie, a G-string for my guitar. Now, I can sing my song at your wedding. Somehow, it feels good to check something off. Almost as good as timber. No. That's not a punching bag. I'll just leave those two right where they are. I'd love to eat some of that, but I think I should get married first. You can see the beach down there. know what I'm supposed to do with it, but you never know. Oh, what's that? What's wrong, Larry? <gasps> is that the bride? The bride is El Ray's daughter. Maybe he adopted the donkey. Try being a little more tolerant, and above all, stop being so simple-minded. Hmm, I'd rather keep my distance. Hmm, those two things won't work together. You shouldn't take prophecy too lightly. Looks useful. It's mine now. Cans with strings on them. I used to play telephone with those as a kid. Thanks, but... I'm not thirsty. It looks a little limp, but I can fix that. Hey, that's what your women usually say to you. I don't have time to hang out at the beach. The wedding awaits. I don't need that. It's completely shredded. How's business? I can't complain. Of course, it helps to be the only restaurant on the whole island. Most of my customers became regulars once they stopped tossing their cookies. Let me guess. You came up with a new recipe for your barbarian brew? Larry, it's an art. You don't just come up with something like that. 
But you can throw up with something like that. Whatever happened to BJ? He wanted to become my partner in Lefties. Thought it could be built into a franchise. A Lefties in every city and all that. Different types of barbarian brew for different target groups. I convinced him it wasn't a good idea. With market research data? With a paddle. Then he disappeared. No idea what happened to him. Don't really care either. You think the wedding's a good idea? Sure. I'll take care of the catering. I mean, I, I haven't even met the bride yet. You have to look on the bright side. That means the bride hasn't met you yet. What are you trying to say? Uh, I'm saying you two are probably a dream couple. Oh, <laughs> okay. Can you feed all the wedding guests? I could, but I can't prepare any alpaca meat while the meat grinder's stuck. Can't you do that without alpaca meat? Vegan, maybe? El Rey says that the... The prophecy forbids it. Just like everything else. I gotta be going. See you later, then. Ugh. I don't want to run that through the meat grinder. It won't turn at the moment. Ugh. I don't want to run that through the meat grinder. Ugh. I don't want to run that through the meat grinder. It won't turn at the moment. It won't turn at the moment. I could have a drink, but then I'd probably fall in the water, so no. I'll just leave it hanging there. You can never have enough plastic bottles. Most people have no idea that plastic bottles are not all the same. They're made of different plastics for different uses. It's actually really fascinating. I'm not sure why Lefty thinks pizza is a typical cam cum dish, but... Lefty? Uh, uh, lefto. Uh, can I please borrow your pizza peel? You mean you take it and I never see it again? He's on to you. Go ahead, take it. I'm experimenting with flatbread anyway. That's fine, just the way... Hmm, those two things won't work together. Those can't be combined. That's a real kissing mouth. That won't help. Good idea, but that won't work. Hmm, those two things won't work together. keep my distance.
Thank you.